Welcome back to Bike Matters. In today's top 10, we're focusing on the creme de la creme of the cruiser market. When it comes to the UK motorcycle scene, both cruiser and custom motorcycles have a complete following of their own. Yes, we all like a bit of power and speed when it comes to our two-wheeled machines, but with the bikes on today's list, it's all about cruising in style, just as the name suggests. Staple features of any cruiser include a low seat, far forward foot pegs and high handlebars, but to name a few. The mere mention of motorcycles to any non-motorcyclist will have them picturing a Harley Davidson within an instant, and this is why the cruiser style is so legendary. But it's not just Harley Davidson who bring cruisers to the market. As you will see in this list, we have 10 different manufacturers offering a variety of awesome cruisers. This list is in no particular order, they're just 10 of the best. So let's get started. First up, it's the BMW R18. Brand new for 2020, the R18 is BMW's take on the cruiser style. True to form, they've gone all out and boy does it show. Boasting the largest boxer engine BMW have ever produced, you can expect with 1,802 cc's with 116.5 foot-pounds of torque. With a 16 litre fuel tank, it weighs in at 345 kilos wet. This is a hefty machine, so manual handling may be suited to those bigger riders among us. What would a 2020 BMW motorcycle be without being filled to the brim with lovely tech though, eh? Expect riding modes, traction control, cruise control, ride-by-wire and a wide selection of optional extras to whet your appetite when looking over one in the showroom. I mean, visually, this bike is stunning. Flaunting a classic fat boy aesthetic with a BMW twist, the R18 is a certified head-turner and one you'll be proud to own. However, as with all the finer things in life, it does come with a very premium price tag. This one will set you back £18,995 at a starting price. Coming in at number 9, we have the Royal Enfield Classic 500. In recent years, Royal Enfields truly have gone from strength to strength and they've produced some brilliant motorcycles, all while keeping that classic Royal Enfield uniqueness. The Classic 500 really is no exception. Here you'll find a 499cc engine, achieving around 27.2 brake horsepower at the max, making it one of the more accessible bikes on this list. The Classic 500 is an ideal option for commutes in all usual environments, but don't expect high performance from this one. Being the cheapest and smallest bike on this list, the Classic 500 lives up to its name of being a truly classic style cruiser. Stripped down to deliver an authentic riding experience for a budget, don't expect this one to be filled with tech, though the 2020 models do have ABS as standard. But for a lot of people, the lack of modern features here is a big selling point. All the nostalgic vibrations of a true classic are in full effect, and it's just about the experience of riding a classic cruiser on a budget. These are a great option if you can find them for sale, as unfortunately, they're no longer production. You can expect to pay around £4,699. At number 8, it's the Kawasaki Vulcan S. Having recently featured in our top 10 middleweight bikes video, it's fair to say we're big fans of the Vulcan S. This motorcycle is a fantastic option to newer riders looking to be part of the cruiser scene, as the standard option boasts a 649cc parallel twin engine, putting out around 60 brake horsepower at 7,500 revs. Nothing too crazy, but you can be assured the ride you'll get will be nice and responsive. There's also a limited 47 brake horsepower version for anyone riding on the A2 license. Much like the Royal Enfield, the Vulcan S offers a stripped back approach, doing away with most of the modern rider rage you'd expect to see on a brand new motorcycle, apart from ABS. However, this does mean that Kawasaki have put a lot of focus into the basics, which truly does result in a great bike for an affordable price of £6,499 brand new. In at number 7 we have the Honda CMX500 Rebel. With a fresh update for 2020, the Honda CMX500 Rebel has had a few key improvements to both its performance and its visuals. With the same 471cc engine used in the CBR500R, this one has revised mapping to give it a bit more torque at the lower end. The 45 brake horsepower at 8500 RPM makes this one a great option for those riding on either an A2 or a full license. The Rebel is one of the lighter bikes on the list at 190 kilos wet and it comes with ABS and a slipper clutch as standard. 
the price for this bike starts at £5,799 brand new, which is great for those on a budget. For an extra 400 quid, there's a special edition variant, with the difference being mostly aesthetic as it features a stylish front headlight cowl, blacked out fork gaiters and a lovely stitch seat. At number 6 we have the Yamaha XV950R. First introduced back in 2013, the XV950R has been a great middleweight option for all riders wanting to be part of the cruiser scene, and it remains to be so in 2020. The 942cc engine, it may seem a little daunting for any novice riders, but the mellow 53 brake horsepower matched with the 252kg curb weight actually makes this a great starter option. Don't underestimate it though, there's still got plenty of oomph. It seems to be becoming a bit of a Yamaha trademark, but the XV950R's power delivery actually comes in quite low in the rev ranges, which allows a really nice responsive ride well suited to urban environments. One of the standout features of this motorcycle is the outstanding build quality all round, as well as its reliability on the road. There isn't too much tech to play with here, but you can expect ABS as standard. Expect to pay a respectable £9,047 for this good looking cruiser. Just before we tell you our top five cruisers, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Lexham Insurance. Lexham offer fantastic rates on cruisers and all other types of motorcycles and scooters. If you're in the UK and you're thinking about getting yourself a new bike, follow the link in the top right hand corner for a £20 discount automatically applied to your quote just for being a Bike Matters viewer. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to drop a thumbs up, let us know in the comments what your favourite's been so far and we'll recap at the end. Right, on with the list. Our number five spot is taken by the Moto Guzzi V9 Bobber. The first Italian offering is noticeably different from the usual American style cruisers that are on the list. The Guzzi Bobber infuses its Italian styling to create a very unique offering. With an 853cc V-twin engine putting out around 54 brake horsepower at 6,250rpm, the V9 Bobber sits in the middle of the pack performance wise. It's great for a wide range of riders. You'll have all the power you need for everyday riding, but it is gentle enough for newer riders to get started on. Bear in mind this one isn't accessible to the A2 license. Features on this include switchable traction control, ABS with Brembo brakes, and also Kayaba suspension. Yes, it doesn't stick to the conventional cruiser style, but this one is a real stunner with all the same philosophy as the other bikes on the list, and that's just a cruising style. The V9 Bobber starts £8,999. Coming in at number four, we have the Indian Scout Bobber 20. The first of the icons on our list, Indian Motorcycles celebrated their 100th anniversary last year with a new Scout model, the new Indian Scout Bobber 20. Like a few other bits on this list, Indian have stripped this one of its modern features to provide a more raw custom experience. Although the Scout Bobber 20 does utilize ride bar wire technology, its highly responsive pulling power is definitely the standout feature of this motorcycle. The stunningly attractive cruiser houses a 1133 V-twin engine spitting out 94 brake horsepower right at the top end. Meaning, despite weighing a massive 256 kilos with a tank full of fuel, there's still plenty of power to play with. And it's also surprisingly nimble. As previously mentioned, this bike is a stunner. And in fact, the look of the Scout Bobber 20 probably is its most standout feature. It embodies that classic American cruiser vibe while combining modern features such as sleek curves and a stylish headlight design. Priced at £12,699, the Scout Bobber 20 is premium, but it is an awesome addition to this list. At number three, we have the Ducati XD Arval. All right, all right, so when you think of Ducati's Diavel, a cruiser motorcycle isn't exactly the first thing that springs to mind. But in 2016, the Italian giants added their ex Diavel to their range, combining that traditional cruiser feel with the signature high performance and power that's synonymous with Ducati, the ex Diavel certainly earns its spot on this list. The engine is a 1262 DVT L-twin, producing a monumental 152 bhp at 9,500 revs making it the most powerful machine on this list, by far. 
Its ability to handle high speeds with the responsive handling that isn't normally associated with the Cruiser class is something that really makes it stand out in the crowd here. As well as the outstanding performance, this one comes loaded with premium components and cutting edge tech, including traction control, rider modes, Bosch ABS and cruise control. The XD Arvel starts at £17,595 with an S version available that packs even more features. If you're looking for something truly premium, you may have just found it. Coming in at silver, the Triumph Bonneville Bobber. When this was announced back in 2016, it was a bit of a shock to motorcycle fans, but it didn't take long for it to become a huge hit thanks to its beautiful styling, awesome performance, well, and its affordable pricing. With a 1200cc parallel twin engine which can be found in Triumph's Bonneville T120, but with a slight power increase here, this bike will put out 76 brake horsepower at 6,100 RPM. Something that really makes this one unique is its performance. Although it has all the looks and charm of a cruiser, you'll get the handling and acceleration you could expect to find from a street bike. The bobber may look like it's been stripped down to the bare essentials, but believe me, Triumph have actually provided a few goodies to play with, including switchable traction control, ride-by-wire, rider modes, and a slipper clutch. Despite all this, Triumph have managed to keep the bobber at an affordable price of £10,650. Definitely not something to be sneered at for the bike you'll get in return. An extra grand on top of that will get you Bonneville Bobber Black, with more bells and whistles attached, including Brembo brakes, shower forks, cruise control, and as the name suggests, a totally blacked out look. And in our number one spot, it's the Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Come on, did you really think we weren't going to include the big boys? When it comes to cruiser motorcycles, Harley Davidson defined the genre. And to be honest, there's so many awesome Harley cruisers out there that we could have made a top 10 with Harleys alone. So it was a difficult decision to boil it down to one for this video. However, the Lowrider S has been given a fresh update for 2020 that embodies the West Coast cruiser style that Harley are famous for. The riding position on the Lowrider S is a bit more aggressive than what you would usually find on Harley thanks to the drag bars and the foot position, but this one is still very much in that classic cruiser category. Like a lot of bikes on this list, Harley have kept it simple. Apart from the ABS and keyless ignition, there aren't any fancy rider aids to distract you from the authentic ride intended. The Milwaukee 8 114 engine found in the Lowrider is Harley Davidson's most powerful to date. A 1868cc V twin putting out 93 brake horsepower at 5,020 RPM provides plenty of shifting power, despite the typically hefty weight of 308 kilograms. Also, it's worth noting that these sound absolutely amazing when you open them up, which to be honest, is a bit of a selling point in itself. The price unsurprisingly is at the steeper end for a premium motorcycle like the Lowrider S. This one starts at £15,825. But keep in mind that you are buying that world famous Harley Davidson badge as well as an awesome motorcycle. These tend to retain their value very well, so purchasing brand new is generally a very safe and fun investment. So there you have it, our top 10 cruiser motorcycles for 2021. Let us know what your favourite was in the comments, or if you think we've missed an awesome cruiser, or we've just got this list completely wrong, make sure to let us know. What would you put in the number one spot? If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notifications on for the rest of the top 10s coming in 2021. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.